Alrighty, sixth graders, welcome to class. Alrighty, so last class we went over articulations, correct? In this class. Um, and so what I have here is a worksheet, um, just kind of reviewing uh, the terms that we already um, talked about in class. And so I'm going to just take a moment and pass these. You guys can pass these back. And so if you look on the, the top of the page, you'll see that um, we have some some articulations, of course, but also another band. Can anyone tell me who that band is? Oh, Ian, has anyone heard of their famous song? Which one? They have a lot. A lot, yeah? But the, the most famous, the most upbeat and fun. Uh, we will rock you. No. That is not their most famous song. No. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. While it is a peculiar one, it is a fun one. And so right now, we're just kind of, we're trying to look at what articulations actually, we, we have to see them in context in, in order to go ahead and portray them in the music that we're working on. So we're going to take a close uh, look at a certain section of um, this particular song, and after we review it a few times, I will ask where certain things, or what stuck out, stuck out to you guys, which articulations that um, you heard the most. So listen out, alrighty? So I'm going to play this. Exactly, and what did that stir up in your mind? What what did that make you feel like? I want to dance. You want to dance, for sure, for sure. And that's what kind of makes the music expressive, and that's how the audience is able to connect with the music, correct? Yeah, with sure. the, Do you agree that these articulations kind of help you to connect with the piece on a different level? For sure, let's give it another um, round and see if anyone else can figure anything else out. do to use the how you portray your feelings and allow the music to relate to the audience and that's what we're going to be focusing on on our next project our group project so ready for that